I've been at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens for the past four years. As a giraffe keeper, um, every day is pretty, it's pretty full. We have seven giraffe in our herd, and that means that we're cleaning a lot, we're feeding a lot, we're keeping an eye on them, observing our animals every day. So I'm gonna do Duke's diet, and for Duke in the PM, um, he gets three different types of grain, all the giraffe get three different types of grain, so Duke's gonna get five and a half pounds of ADF-16, five pounds of wild herb, and then two and a half pounds of wild herb plus. So finishing Duke's diet with this last grain is water plus, and he's gonna get two and a half pounds of that to give a total of 13 pounds for tonight. And then we'll mix it up, give it to him tonight. They get fresh alfalfa hay every day. This is part of their diet. They get free choice in addition to the grain. Um, it comes in compact flakes, so we like to fluff it out as much as we can for them. And they'll, they'll reach through with their tongues in their mouths and grab pieces out as they choose. They're tall animals, so all their feeders are very tall and high. We have a lot of different edible plants on exhibit. We have magnolia, which is bitter tasting, and we've never really had the giraffe want to eat it until our newest calf, uh, nicknamed Forest. He really seems to enjoy eating the bitter magnolia. Um, <laughs> But we also have wax myrtle, we have elm and mulberry, we have sycamore, among a lot of different other, other plants on exhibit. Uh, Duke really enjoys uh, bananas. He just really seems to love bananas. I think the copies definitely help make it a more natural environment. The giraffe can move around them. They can separate themselves if they would like. It also provides kind of a natural enrichment because we have plants and edible trees in there that they can eat from. And then they're so tall though that they can't, they won't eat it all the way down like they would, they could get to it uh, all at one time. Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a zookeeper. I've always wanted to work with animals, and that was my path um, from day one. So after high school, I went to Colorado State, and I got a degree in zoology. And then I had an apprenticeship at Denver Zoo for two years, and I worked through all the animal departments, kind of figured out where I wanted to work with and what animals I liked. 